Christmas to you all and to your families. Good morning on this Christmas morning. Uh, welcome to you all, a particular welcome to visitors among us. We gather to celebrate the birth of Christ. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. you. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He is also called Emmanuel, for in him God is with us. Let us pray. O Emmanuel, we give you thanks and praise for wrapping yourself in humanity and dwelling among us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Him, you servants of the Lord. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be His name, now and forever. Glory to God in the highest and peace, peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our pray for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Let us confess our sins, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with our neighbor. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, 
have mercy on you, pardon your sins and set you free from them, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the collect of the day. O Christ, Christ, light of the world, born into human pain and joy, let our celebration of your birth make us bold witnesses of your love to the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. From Isaiah 52, verse 7 to 10. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaims peace, who brings good tidings, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, you watchmen, lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, you reigns of Jerusalem, for the Lord has confronted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay his bare holy arms in the sight of all the nations, and the and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. Hear the word of the Lord. Our appointed psalm for today is Psalm 98. O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm, they have got him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his just deliverance in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Break into singing and make melody. Make melody to the Lord upon the harp, upon the harp and with the sounds of praise. With trumpets and with horns, cry out in triumph before the Lord the King. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the good earth and those who live upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the mountains ring out together before the Lord. For he comes to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and be forever. Amen. The second reading is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom also he made the universe. The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. So he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. Hear the word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Listen to the good news as proclaimed on the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2, reading from verses 1. Glory to Christ our Saviour. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken for the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place in a while. Corinius was a governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own city to register. So Joseph also went up to the, to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, the Bethlehem, to Bethlehem the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for a child to be born, and she gave birth to a first son, a son. She wrapped him in a cloth and placed him in a mansion because there was no guest room available for them. And there was a shepherd living out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause you great joy of all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be the sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in the manger. Suddenly a great company of, heaven, a, a, a great company of the heaven hosts appeared with the angels, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heavens, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angel had left them and gone into the, into the heaven, the shepherd said to one of the other, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying on the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told, what they had been told about the child. And all who heard it were amazed and what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherd retained glorifying, glorifying and praising God for all the things they have heard and seen which were just as they have been told. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the, the Father, Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen.
Happy Christmas, dear people of St. Paul's and anyone else listening. May we all be filled with the love and light of Christ. And may we be kept safe and protected. Have a blessed Christmas day. Thank you, Alison. In our Gospel reading today, we hear again the remarkable message of the angel. Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. We need to hear again and again this message, first delivered to the shepherds at the birth of Jesus over 2,000 years ago. The message is for everyone, for all creation, for all time. What does it mean for us today on Christmas? In this year, the pandemic, a year filled with anxiety and uncertainty about which, what the future holds, the words of the angel do not be afraid, come as good news to us. They are like a healing balm. For we have many fears, mental illness, domestic violence, the loss of a job or of income, and the sickness and loss of loved ones have been the reality of our world and of our own lives. Do not be afraid. Because God has come to us, says the angel, breaking into our ordinary lives and making new things possible. That is what we celebrate today. In this time of physical distancing, God draws near to us in the baby, in the manger, in Bethlehem, entering our world with its brokenness and pain. The Saviour comes not to rule over us, but to walk alongside us and to share our suffering. The Incarnation is good news with, of great joy indeed. We are not alone in the struggles that we face. I invite us to respond to the message of the angel. Firstly, let us celebrate the faithfulness of God and put our trust wholeheartedly in God. In announcing Mary's forthcoming pregnancy in the previous chapter of Luke, verse 37, the angel says to Mary, for nothing will be impossible with God. Secondly, in the months and the year ahead, let us support one another so that we can move beyond our crippling fears <clears throat> and be able to reach out in love to others. The prophet Isaiah, verse 7 of today's reading, chapter 52, burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. This has been a theme in Advent leading up to Christmas. God invites us into a partnership to rebuild better and to heal fractured lives and fractured communities. This will help make the good news a reality. At this time, let us be particularly conscious of the need to care for people who are vulnerably vulnerable financially, psychologically or emotionally, those who are homeless and sleep on the streets, refugees, those who are elderly and in poor health. And let us continue to pray for one another. This is certainly a source of strength and keeps hope alive. Remember to pray for our frontline workers. Finally, let us ourselves become even more vigilant at this time and observe all the safety protocols, including wearing masks, 
social distancing and sanitizing regularly. A senior church leader in the UK was accused of behaving more like a health and safety officer than a cleric. Striving to protect others and ourselves is also part of living out the good news. So may you and your loved ones experience God's love, joy and peace at this time and in the year ahead. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, on this special day we come with praise, we glorify your name. There is no one like you. You are worthy of our trust. You are the way and the truth, the Son of the living God. We thank you for coming on earth to give us life, to bring us hope. Thank you for the gift of eternal life, as we remember that you are with us and living in us. May we also live in you, so that even at the end of our days we may be united with our Lord Jesus Christ. Prince of Peace, you are the source of serenity. Even as we celebrate the Christmas service away from the fellowship of sisters and brothers in Christ, challenged by the fear of the ever-increasing numbers of the COVID-19, we call upon your peace to still storms in our lives. May your supernatural peace reign in our hearts and extend this peace and love to our homes. Light of the world, emanate your light into our lives so that we may begin to see the world in the light of understanding you give. May each day be a celebration of who you are in our lives. Help us to be the people you have called us to be in our celebrations. Help us to simplify our activities so that we can focus on celebrating your birth. We also remember the homeless and lonely. Gracious Lord, you are the father to the fatherless. You are aware of their needs. We pray that you provide warmth, comfort, a place for shelter and companionship. Rescue them from their sorrow and poverty. We pray for the sick. We raise your name over all forms of diseases. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. In their sufferings, we pray for patience. Give them the mind of Christ to endure suffering with patience and humility. Eternal Father, we thank you for calling us to serve and lead. We also thank you for giving us a perfect example of leadership in your Son, Jesus Christ. Just as shepherds provide guidance for their sheep, we pray that you provide guidance for every leader. We pray for our spiritual leaders in the Anglican Church community. Bless them and their families. Continue providing them discernment on how to meet people's needs as they glorify your name and encourage the church. For the church, we pray for joy in our hearts, hope in God, love to forgive, and abundant life in Christ. We offer this prayer in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and also, also with you. Uktula kwe nkosi makabonani njalo. Akwande.
Let us pray together. Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and earth is yours. All Amen. things come from you, and of your own do we give you. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands has made. For us it becomes the bread of life. This Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of the human hands. For us it becomes the cup of salvation. This is God forever. Follow the words of the third Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. And Lord also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give the thanks and praise. Father, it is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. He is the Word through whom you made the universe, the Saviour you sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born of the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he opened his arms on the cross. He put an end to death and revealed the resurrection. In this, he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy purpose, people. And we shall join the angels and all the saints in proclaiming your glory as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your Spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup Again he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. So we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ, Christ will come again. In memory of each death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life being bread, this serving cup. We thank you for coming as worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Dhamma Zedek, our Vicar General, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest and hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles of all the saints who have done your world throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in unity with the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, mighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The bread which we break, is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? We are many are one body. We all partake of one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bear of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us all peace. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather the crumbs under your table. But you are the same Lord, whose nature is always our mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may have more bread in him and he in us. Draw near and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Feed on him in your heart, by faith and thanksgiving. Christ working for you. Can I first do? provide an opportunity for spiritual communion for those in their homes, that we too may all receive the body and blood of Christ. Jesus, may all that is in you flow into me. May your body and blood be my food and drink. May your passion and death be my strength and life. Jesus, with you by my side, enough has been given. Let me not run from the love which you offer, but hold me safe from the forces of evil. On each of my dyings, shed your light and your love. Keep calling me unto that day, until that day comes, when with your saints I may praise you forever. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. He must be forever. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for feeding us in these holy mysteries with the body and blood of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and for keeping us by your grace in the body of your Son, the company of all faithful people. Help us to persevere as living members of that holy fellowship 
and to grow in love and obedience according to your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Father Amen. Almighty, we, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.